Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve um, eye look. I am going to do my entire face on camera minus my brows um, and then I'll do the eye look. So yeah, um, I want to do something like kind of fun. I want to do like a smoky eye because you know for New Year's you're mainly celebrating New Year's Eve so like the 31st. So I really want to um, I really want to do like a smoky eye but then I also want to add like a pop of color so I'm going to be doing a purple smoky eye. You'll see it. You'll see it. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I already have my face moisturized. I already put my serums and stuff. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I'm going to be using this because my pores are looking very big and I want to smoothen them out. Now that my face is all primed, I'm going to be going in with my foundation. Today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. And how I usually like to apply my foundation, I like to grab a flat foundation brush and then just put it on there. I use like one and a half pumps and then I'll kind of just paint it on my face like I'm painting a wall. Alright, and then I'll take my buffing brush, this is the number 88 from the Sephora collection, and then I'm just going to buff it all over it. Now that we're done with the foundation, I'm going to go with my concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in Medium Honey. I don't know why I always look down like I don't know what shade it is. Um, and I'm going to be blending it out with my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. Notice that I am patting this into my face because I really want it to be as blended as possible, look as natural as possible. So I want to really press it in there. Next, now that that's all done, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm only going to put a light amount today using my Aesthetica um, P12 powder brush. So I'm only going to put very lightly all over my face. Oh my gosh, yesterday I cleaned all my brushes and um, I decided to make them dry faster. I would use a blow dryer. But I'm kind of dumb because it kind of melted some of my bristles and like made them really hard. So yeah, don't do that if you have synthetic brushes. I promise you this brush was softer two days ago. Disgusting. Alright, now that my powder is done, I'm going to bronze using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This one fell, so it's like kind of ugly, but it still works, so yeah. I really like this bronzer because it's so light, so easy to use, hard to mess up. It's really good. And now I'm going to be highlighting with the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. This is the Mega Glow in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I'm going to be using my R36 Morphe brush. It's a really nice highlighter. It's like $5. Okay. 
Okay, I need a new camera because this camera always turns off on me. Um, I don't know if, when it cut off, but um, I'm just contouring my nose a little bit using like a small contouring brush. This one didn't get burned, thankfully. I'm gonna put some a little bit under my nose. Okay. All right, and now I'm just going to be putting on some blush. I'm gonna use the NARS Orgasm Blush. The brush I'm using for this is from Crown Brushes. This is so pretty. It's such an iconic blush. I'm just going to be taking some loose powder and cutting my cheeks. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows off camera. Now I'm just going to be priming my eyelids using the Morphe Eyelid Primer. And then after that, we can start with the fun part of this video. It's a little too much primer I put. I typically prefer to use concealer. Um, with um, as my primer, but today I'm going to be using the um, James Charles X Morphe Artistry Palette, and I know that he recommends that people use it with a primer instead of a concealer, so I would rather do that than take chances. Alright, and now I'm going to just put loose powder under my eye. And then we can begin. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into this um, this kind of like latte shade, and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade. To apply that, I'm going to be using the Luxie 249 brush. I'm gonna use the um, the slightly wider side, the large crease side. I'm just placing that in my crease. I'm bringing it up towards the brow bone, but not actually touching. Then I'm also trying to like flare it out, kind of like to meet a point here. Like I'm bringing it down from down here to up here and from here to here, kind of like to make it meet, if that makes sense, hopefully. Okay, so now that the crease color is on, I'm gonna take my Morphe M15, um, M13 brush M513 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I think this shade's called Beans. I don't remember. I just remember like when uh, I read it when it had the clear thing on it. Um, still, I kept thinking frijoles. So, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put this color on this like outer area. We'll see. I didn't want to use straight black because I felt like that was too intense. I am going to use a little black later on, but not too much. Okay, so I'm just putting it kind of, I'm like tucking it under the crease color, but also bringing it up a little bit, but mainly focusing it on my lid. I was just on the phone with the person who suggested I blow dry my brushes and I'm blaming them for all my brushes being fried now. So <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with the brush from earlier to just blend 
out the two colors better. Just going back and forth. And now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And now I'm going to be taking my Morphe R41 brush and going in to the black shadow in the palette. It's very, very black. And I'm going to be putting that just in this little outer area. See? Barely anything at all. And then with the same brush, I'm going to just blend it out a little bit up. And a little bit in. I'm trying not to move it too much. Okay. And then the other eye. Then back in with my large crease brush and just blending, blending, blending on this side, above, this side. Okay. I'm actually going to try to do this with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. And I'm doing it with this because I want the color to be super, super vibrant on my lid. So I just kind of, if you can see, I kind of followed my lash line down here, moved it towards here, not really on the inner corner, but just before. And then I'm moving it up in the shape of my lid. Okay, now I'm just going to pat that on to blend it. Okay, just so you can see. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing over here as per the theme we've been following. As you can see, both eyes are done. Not done, but done as far as using this. And now I really want to go into the Tardiest Pro Remix palette. Um, I got this a while back, like a, like a week ago. I actually did a video with it, but I didn't like how it came out. So 
I don't know if I'm going to film an independent video with this again, but I'm going to use it today. I really want to go into this purple shade right here called Mashup, and then this shade right here called Moonlit um, in the inner, inner third. So I'm going to spray this packing brush with my MAC Fix Plus just to get those colors to show up better on the lid. I'm first going to go into the shade Moonlit because it is lighter and I am going to be using the same brush for both colors. I love this kind of brush because it just makes it so much easier to follow the shape of your lid because of the fact of how round it is. Okay, so I brought that into the third, the inner third of the eye. Now I'm going to go into Mash Up. I might have to put more MAC Fix Plus. I'll put a little bit more. So like I said earlier, I need a new camera that doesn't just turn off on me. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Putting some dang purple. See, while a lot of the shades in the video I was trying to do, a lot of the shades in this palette are extremely pigmented and you don't have to keep packing them on. But this particular purple, for some reason you have to keep packing it on to get so much vibrancy. And it is a gorgeous color, so I'm not saying that that bothers me too much, but it could bother some people. Okay, now I'm just going to go back into Moonlit and just try and bring it into Mashup, which is the purple shade, because I want it to look like they're just blending in seamlessly together. I don't want it to look like Napoleon. Ice cream. Okay, now we can see it looks a lot more blended in. So now I'm actually going to go back in with my R41 Morphe brush. Uh, I'm back to the Artistry palette and I'm going to go into this deep purple here. And I'm going to place that in between the black and the other purple shade. Okay. You can see. Okay. Now I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend in all of these colors. I don't want it to get too much on top of the purple shimmer, so I'm mainly pulling it this way towards the black. I'm going to be taking a small smudging brush like this one. This one's BH Cosmetics number six or eight. It's number eight. And I'm going to be going into this lighter purple right here. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Why did I grab this big mirror? I'm going to put it just here in the middle. 
and just there in the middle. Really pack it on. With the same brush, I'm going to go into the deeper purple and bring it down here, more on the outside. Okay. And same thing on the other eye. Then I'm going to go back into the Tarte palette, back into this purple, put it where I put the other one in the middle, and then back into this gold and put it in the inner lower lash line. I am going to also push it to that deeper purple. Now we have like a cute little gradient going on. I hope you can see that. I'm going to grab another smudge brush. This one is from IT Cosmetics. Doesn't really have a number. It says C7133. I don't know if that's the number or what. Point is, it's a smudge brush. It doesn't have to be this one that you use. And I'm going to grab the highlighter from earlier, the Wet n Wild one, and my E36 brush and put it in the inner corner. I'm going to do a little cat wing. I just realized I said cat wing. I'm wearing bat ears, by the way, if you couldn't guess what this is. Not devil horns, it's bat ears. side. Alright, I have my winged liner on now. I'm just going to throw on some mascara and I am done with the eyes. Alright, and of course you can put on eyelashes instead of mascara if you want to. I just choose not to because I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I am terrified of big eyelashes. Um, I'm just, one, I'm scared that they're going to ruin my real lashes, which happens to like everyone. And then two, I, I've i only ever correctly put them on a handful of times, and I've tried to put them on at least 12 dozen handful of times. So, I don't want to ruin my eye look trying my luck. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe away all of my powder. And we do have a lot going on up here, so I really want to do like a neutral lip. And now I'm going to finish off the lip with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nathan. This seems a bit pinky, so I'm going to be putting Celebrity Skin on top of that one. What is going on here? Oh, oh I just had a thing. Okay. 
Final step, I'm going to be setting my face using my Morphe Setting Mist. Setting your face is very, very important um, because it helps kind of melt the makeup into your skin and melt it all together so that it looks more natural. It also obviously helps your makeup last longer. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope that you liked it. I definitely had a lot of fun playing with this purple and this gold. They are such a pretty combination and this palette is really really good. Like the shimmers in this palette are so so good like let me just show you this green which is like my obsession could it oh my goodness i hope that you can see how reflective this green is anyways that's not the point but um i hope that you enjoyed today's look let me know in the comments below what you thought about it, if you liked it, if you would have done something a little bit different, if you recreated it, if you found this helpful at all. Just let me know anything at all. Um, happy New Year's, guys. If I don't post, well, I'm probably not going to post until 2019. But um, Happy New Year's. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. If you like it, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when I post later on. And yeah, I hope you have a fantastic end of your year and a great day. And I will see you soon. Bye.